Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about switching languages or sticking with the thing you already know. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I'm working in a company and I was just and the company is migrating from one language over to another and I was just wondering what your thoughts are on if I, you, we as the programmers should stick by this company and learn the new language or if we should just go and work somewhere else where we can use the language we already know. And the short answer is that that is a very personal, very personal, I would say, choice to make. It's a, it's a choice that you will have to make completely by yourself and there's no right answer here. Let me explain. So the reason why I argue that this is a personal choice is because fundamentally, guys, there is no reason for you to learn more than one language if the goal is to just have employment, to get paid to do software development. And assuming here, of course, that that language actually has, has you employed. An example would be C Sharp, which is my favorite example when it comes to employment and not knowing more than one language. There are so many things that you can do with the C Sharp language and all the platforms that Microsoft produces that you can stay your entire career as a C Sharp developer and pretty much work wherever you want. In essence, it's a very similar sort of situation for for Java. Now, the same cannot really be said for, say, JavaScript. It's very, you can, it's not impossible, but it is less flexible, if that makes sense. So, there, and I mean, there's also, of course, languages where it's going to be really regional for you if you can or if you can't stay stick with one single language and that also comes back to this thing i was saying that it it depends it's a very personal thing if you want to stick with one language and you work in a region where all right there's like one single company in that region who uses your language and you can't get a job in that in that company well unless you want to move and you're going to have to switch languages and as this is subscriber is describing, if there's a new language that comes in and it's supposed to be the thing that you're going to use in that company, you really have to make your choice here. If you feel like working in that company is worth learning that new language or if you want to learn that new language, you don't have to. There's no, there, if, if you can find another job and you really don't care all that much about being a polyglot developer or someone who knows more than one language, right? then there's no reason for you to stay. But as I said, that's not something that I can answer for you. I think that there are many benefits personally to learn more than one language, but it's not a hard requirement because we all are different. Some people code just as a job and some people code because they have a personal interest in, in it. Now, the benefit, of course, of having more than one language under your, in your, well, in your knowledge bag is that you can work in a more flexible way. You have more tools at your disposal. The downside is, of course, that you're less specialized. Now, just having more languages doesn't necessarily mean that he, someone who focuses on one language is going to be better than someone who has more than one language, because uh, once again, it comes down to how much are you investing. Even a person who works as a full stack developer, such as with both JavaScript and say C Sharp, can be better at C Sharp than someone who only works at C Sharp because it's not about the time that you spend or how exclusive you are with the language, it is how, how, how much resistance you meet in your daily job and how much you actually push yourself to be better at the language that you're actually dealing with. So what I want you to take away from this is that there's no way for me to answer whether or not you should go to a new language to keep your job or if you should just go to another company where you can use the same language that you feel comfortable with because it comes down to you it comes down to your priority system and your your region or wherever your position in life if that makes sense if you don't care all that much about programming or if it's just a job or if it's something where you feel like you're kind of okay with just knowing one language then there's no reason for you to learn another one because you you have reached your goal of becoming a professional software developer 
you get paid to write software. And this is very common in, say, C Sharp, where you simply have all the flexibility that you need. And most people who do C Sharp development will tell you that there's really not that many jobs where they can't just go if they wanted to by just knowing C Sharp. It's not that common that you see someone requiring more than C Sharp for a job position within an IT company that uses C Sharp. However, if you want to be a little bit more flexible and have a few more options of different sorts of companies that you would want could work at, well, then sure, knowing more than one language it makes a lot of sense. But it's very rare that you will get a big return on investment of learning more than one language. It's not, no one cares. At the end of the day, no one cares. If you go to a company, they don't care about how many languages you know. They care about that you know the language that they are using. That's what's important. So it comes down once again to that personal preference. You're not career-wise going to be worth so much more by knowing a lot of languages. It's more about how flexible you are. That's what it comes down to. Have a great day.